Today when it comes to watchOS update, I'll be happy to let you know at least for 10.4 we have a new beta and right here you can see this is watchOS 10.4 beta 2 developer beta on my Apple Watch Ultra 1. It comes in at exactly 435 megabytes updating from watchOS 10.4 beta 1 and fortunately this is not all that was released today. In fact on the Apple developer page here you can see we got iOS and iPadOS 17.4 beta 2 we also got mac os 14.4 beta 2 tv os 17.4 beta 2 and this one is a new one which is vision os 1.1 beta it's the first beta that we now have when it comes to the apple vision pro device and of course watch always 10.4 beta 2. most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half men half tech so definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now i'm just gonna finish updating and then we'll see what are the new features and changes that this update has to offer I've now updated my device and gone through the OS just to look for some changes. So if we go into settings right here and then go to general, go to software update, it's up to date. And if we look at the new build number that we have, you can see we took quite a substantial jump as we have 21T5196D. So it ends with a delta and in terms of stability, it's going forward from the previous update. Now, in terms of the new features and changes that this update has to offer, there really isn't much and in fact Apple themselves haven't said anything different from the previous beta when it comes to this watchOS 10.4 beta 2 because these improvements in APIs or application interfaces were there with the previous beta 1 and then this is like a developer improvement resolved issue as well so most of the changes that are just here were the same that were introduced with the first watchOS 10.4 beta 1 and one specific one I want to show you here you can see I sent a sticker here and the sticker instead of showing up as a question mark mark or a blank box you can see with this update it's resolved an issue where stickers were not working and it's a good thing and also another thing that watchOS 10.4 introduces if you go to your emojis right here and you go to your different emojis you notice if you go for example to the face emojis or my recently used one you can see we have some new emojis one shaking face the other shaking the face horizontal and vertical and then if you continue to go down if you go for example to the food section you'll be able to see that we have like this slime it's a new emoji and then we have a mushroom as well and if you go all the way to the icons end you'll be able to see some other different emojis that have been added to this watchOS 10.4 in a total you can see for example these other ones that have been added some of them seem to be similar to what we had before but then when you click on it and do adjustments on your iPhone device then you get to see the actual true emojis but these two have been slightly updated now because the new Apple Vision Pro is available and people are using it and part of the way you use the Apple Vision Pro involves your thumb and index finger while you are gesturing so in order to avoid accidental triggers or conflict with the Apple Watch Apple has added this other settings so if you have the apple watch ultra 2 or the apple watch series 9 where you have the gesture or double tap function then you see under the settings and gesture tab you'll be able to see a sub menu setting where you can disable the gesture or the double tap so that it doesn't conflict with your apple vision pro in settings if you go to siri and then you can see siri messaging with siri right here you can choose different languages that you can add and this won't be your general language so if you get a message like in german or french then siri will be able to read messages using the language in the list and this will not change the primary language that siri interacts to you with whether it's on the iPhone or the Apple Watch. So this is something that's good. And then also when it comes to this update, if you use Siri on the Apple Watch and you have you are based in Germany, now you have the ability to choose whether you just want to use the phrase Siri by itself or 
hey and then the word siri after to be able to trigger the voice assistant so as you can see this update doesn't really have much going on it's a pretty plain update if you ask me and the good thing about that though is that the battery has been holding up pretty well for me on my apple watch ultra one if we go to the battery health you can see right here it's on 97 percent and when i started testing watch os 10.4 i started on 97 percent so no change in that regard and you know i looking at the way this has been holding up i really can't complain coming from watch os 10.4 beta 1 or, or even watch os 10.3 so this watch os 10.4 beta 2 will take some time for me to be able to get the real picture but as of now from the previous update i was on battery seems to be good and so is performance changing watch faces is pretty smooth and fast so i have no complaints when it comes to this update now when it comes to when to expect this update to be released i would expect maybe a watch os 10.4 beta 3 on the 13th and then maybe a beta 4 on this week of the 20th and then maybe we might get a release candidate on the 27th and the official release should be coming out usually it's on monday so maybe monday march 4th that's when we could see this update being released alongside some other versions of apple softwares like ios ipad os and vision os 1.1 as well so that's about it for me when it comes to this update. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.